let's talk about the train. The, the train. train. I love the train. I, I, I've been, I've, now, I haven't been on the train for years, but adults love it, getting on the train, but they have to have an excuse. They have to have, some, <laughs> they have, to have somebody deal with them, right? So they can take care of that little person. And then they jump on the train. And the adults love it as much as the kids. But, yeah. It's funny that you say that over the last three years, we've had this big project where we've been rebuilding the tracks and all the grading and everything, replaced all the ties. And the guys who did that work, the construction guys, all wanted to go for a train ride. So we took them for a train <laughs> ride. There were no kids involved. But I love the train. I'm a, I'm a bit of a railway uh, geek, actually. I've got a model rail set so, up. Well, so do I. And, I have to see your railway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but so I, and I've been fascinated with the railway history of the area. So the train has spoken to me a lot over the years as well. But the train actually was purchased back in 1974. Mm -hmm. At that time, the locomotive and cars were used. Uh, it runs every year, typically from Victoria Day weekend to Labor Day weekend, seven days a week from 10 in the morning till six at night. Uh, last year, we had about 77,000 riders. Um, and, you know, for the Park and Zoo, it's an important revenue source for us. There, there is an admission for the train. Yeah, it's $2 yeah. a person yeah. presently. Um, and that really helps us out from an operating cost perspective. I cannot um, overstate what a fantastic job the uh, city garage, the public works garage does of maintaining that train for us. They're just fantastic. Uh, it has a 1951 Willys Jeep engine in it. They're, they're finding parts is like that's, impossible. That's be <laughs> um, and these guys do an amazing job of keeping that train I didn't know that's inter interesting. Yeah. The old four-cylinder Willys Jeep. A flathead Willys Jeep engine, yeah. I don't know. This is a question I, I've, I've, I've often wondered. The number, do you have any idea how many people go through that zoo every year? Yeah, we, we kind of do some uh, reverse uh, engineering from a statistics perspective. So we know how many people ride the train because we have hard numbers on that. Mm -hmm. And every summer we do an ongoing survey of our visitors. And one of the questions we ask them is, did you ride the train today? And it, Or how many people in your party rode the train today? And from that, we can kind of reverse estimate for the summer months what our visitorship is. Mm -hmm. um, and the last few years, the estimate is over a quarter million visitors. 250,000 people. Yeah. I wonder, if, uh, is the city or does anybody know what kind of, re estimate what kind of revenue that brings into Peterborough? Yeah, I, you know, I don't know if anybody's really had I mean, a, that's, you had can't, a look you at can't that. actually nail that down, I wouldn't, but there must no. be some sort of an estimate. Yeah, and I know they do that for other events and things like that. Are people so. coming in and going to restaurants and just what, going stopping in the store or something? Buying gas? Absolutely. Yeah, it's... Absolutely. But that's not the main point here, but yeah, it's the zoo itself. It's so wonderful. 